It's time for high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcers for tonight's game. Hello and welcome to the campus of Rehoboth High School where the Rehoboth Rebels will be hosting the Dothan Tigers. Hi, I'm Mick Kirkland and we'll be bringing you all of the action. Dothan gets the tip and they lose it and break it away was number 23. James Cummings, and it's going to be out of bounds off for Hobart. This game looked like it's going to be a fast-paced, high-speed game, so hold on to your seats. I think we're in for a lot of action tonight. McGee brings it up for the Tigers. Gets it over to Lewis. Marsh puts it up. It's no good. So, Rehoboth gets it, and they get it down to McKinnon. Nice feed, and a slam goes to number 23, James Cummins. Nice back door that time by Cummins. Rehoboth goes up 2-0. Pulls up for a three, off the mark, rebound, goes to number 30 who puts it in. That's Demarius Lewis for two. Score tie, two apiece. Paris with the ball, gets it across the midcourt line. Feeds it down low. And a nice layup, left-handed layup that time by Anthony McBride. Foul called on thir 35. Trawick is called for the foul. It's first personal, first team foul. Rehoboth up four to two. And so Mike Bride hits his free throw. Files called on number 11, Tyler Ferris. Ferris. That's his first personal. Team's first. And that time, number 22, uh, Marsh tries to go up, and it's blocked. So the Tigers take it out. They get it in, and it goes over to Marsh. He pulls up for a short jumper. No good. And rebound goes to McBride. Ferris takes it down. Over to McKinnon. He goes for a three and count it. McKinnon with the three. So Rehoboth goes up eight to two on the Tigers with two minutes into the game. And get into Kyrie Thomas, banks it off the glass for two. So it's an eight to four Rehoboth lead. Ferris gets it across midcourt. And it's lost, and Kyrie Thomas gets the rebound. Marsh on the fast breaks. He sets it up, kicks it back out. Marsh from behind the three-point line, puts it up. It's short. Thomas gets the rebound, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds off of Thomas's knee. So it's going to be Rehoboth's ball. Taking it out as Cummins. Inbounds it to McKinnon, who hit a big three-pointer the last time down the court. And it's blocked by number 35. That time, Stephen Trawick went up high and was got a piece of it and knocked it out of bounds. So it's going to be a whole bunch of balls. Coming in, bounds it to McKinnon. Back over to Cummins from behind the three-point line. It's off the mark. And that's a battle for the ball, and Ferris comes up with it, puts it up, 
No good, and a struggle for the ball. These teams are going at it, and it's blocked by Kyrie Thomas, but he got him with the body. And uh, number 43, Zacharias Watford's going to be going to the line. So that'll be uh, Thomas's first foul and second team foul. We're hoping the leading by five, nine to four. And it's good. Watsford puts it up. Thomas tries and saves it, but he saves it right into the hand of McKinnon. And we have a blocking foul. They get the ball in. Cummins in the corner from behind the three-point line. It's off to Mark. Rebounded by number 22, Greg Marsh. Nice baseline move that time by number 35, Stephen Trawick. And he's fouled. That foul called on Anthony McBride, his first. Trawick comes up short on his first of two. Second one up and it's good. So it's a 10 to 5 game. We're over the leading Dothan, 4 minutes, 15 seconds left in the opening period. They get it into McKinnon. He puts it up and in for two. McKinnon with five points in the game. And Dothan turn it over right into the hands. McKinnon gets it, puts it up and in for two. McKinnon, seven points here in the first. And Rehoboth goes up by a score of 14 to five. So with 343 left in the first, the score is Rehoboth 14, Dothan five. Dothan takes the ball in after timeout. They wanted to try to slow her over down. They have come out playing with a lot of intensity and, and uh, intensity, and are playing very aggressively. So the Tigers are trying to slow them down and try to get things going their way. And that time, number 22 got caught under the basket and threw it right into the hands of McKinnon. Cummins with the ball. He kicks it back out to Ferris. McKinnon. Back to Cummins. McKinnon from behind the three-point line. No good, but a put back by number 43. That was Zachary, Zachary's Watford for two. Four points for Watford in the game. Good defensive recovery that time by Copeland. Rehoboth had two on one. And it's blocked. And it's put up again by Mike Bryant with two, and right now we're hoping it's taking it to Dothan. They are showing their power under the basket, and they are doing a really good job. Cummins on the steal. He goes up, and he loses the handle on it. He wanted to dunk it, but he couldn't, and then Dothan gets the ball and throws it away. They were trying to get the ball to number 35, Stephen Trawick, and was just a little too high. 
Kyrie Thomas back in the game for the Tigers. And out goes number 40, Quentin Copeland. Right now, we're hoping this in control of this game, leading by 13, 18 to 5. Here's the score, just over two minutes left in the opening period. Shot up and it missed, and Dothan gets the rebound. And they turn it over again, and it goes to Ferris, and he turns it over right into the hands of Capehart, who gives it to Tyree Thomas for two. That's Thomas' second field goal of the game, a total of four points. 18 to seven, we're hoping the leading. And in control so far. Wide open was number 35, and he missed a wide open shot. Rebound goes to number 15, that's McGee. Shot was blocked by Cummins. So Dothan will be taking the ball out of bounds, taking it out as number 21, Lorenzo Capehart. He inbounds it to McGee. And they try to get it in to Stephen Trawick, get defensive play that time by the Rebels. Knocking it out of bounds. Capehart gets it in to McGee. He kicks it out to Marsh. They get in to Kyrie Thomas. He powers up, and he's foul. So Dothan's trying to go to that strip down low, Kyrie Thomas. Foul called on number 23, James Cummins, his first. Third, third team foul. Thomas is a 6'6", 267-pound senior. Thomas misses his first of two. He makes his second one, five points for Thomas. Ferris with the ball, just uh, under a minute left. Rehoboth leading by 10, 18 to eight. They came out of the gates running. Ferris, he gets it over to Watford. Shot miss, Watford there for the rebound. Banks off the glass, but it rolls out. I call him 35. Trawick, that's his second. Fourth team foul. Watford, two of three from the line. Has a total of four points. Uh, Trawick goes out and into the game is number 40, Copeland. It's his second free throw. So it's a 19 to 8 lead, uh, an 11 point lead for the Rebels over Hobart, and they have been in control so far in this game. And it's taken away by McKinnon, he takes it in, count it. McKinnon steals the ball, goes all the way down, put it up and was fouled. And he's going to the line. So McKinnon makes a three point play.
10 points in the period for McKinnon. Rehoboth leading 22 to 8. Nice move to the basket that time by number 30, Demarius Lewis. He makes the basket. Foul call on number 45, Madison. So a timeout on the court. The score is Rehoboth 22, Dothan 10. So that is the first period of play with the Rehoboth Rebels leading the Dothan Tigers by 12. We're back at the beginning of the second period of play. Rehoboth uh, putting up 22 points in the first period to take a 12-point lead, 22 to 10. And there's a three by number 13. And that's his second one, McKinnon. And gets the ball into Kyrie Thomas. He powers his up for two. Foul called on number 43, Zacharias Watford, his first. Thomas falls a little short. He's one of three from the line. 25 to 12. Rehoboth leading. Delton. McKinnon goes up, shoots, and a block by number 40. That time, Quentin Copeland went up high and Block that one. McKinnon from the corner. Count it. That's McKinnon's third three of the game. 16 points in the first half. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Thomas puts it up off the glass for two more. Kyrie Thomas, nine points for Thomas. And Rehoboth turns the ball over there, up by 14, 28 to 14, six minutes, 46 seconds left in the second period. They throw it away, and Cummins comes up with the steal. He drives down the middle of the lane, rolls up and in. James Cummins with the second field goal of the game, total of four points. Blocking foul. Call against Rehoboth. Call against number 15, Dallas Snell. His first 16 foul. Shot up. No good. Thomas gets the rebound, and he's going to be fouled by number 35. Anthony McBride is going to be his second. Thomas is one of three from the line here in the first half.
They call it a, a non-shooting foul. Rehoboth up by 16, 30 to 14. Shot for three from the corner. No good. Thomas goes up high for the rebound, spins and puts it up. And he's fouled by number 15, Dallas Snell. It's going to be Snell's second foul. So this time, Thomas will. Now they call it on number 43. That was Zacharias Watford, his second. Nine points in the game for Kyrie Thomas. He's one of three from the line. Not quite sure what's happening now. There's a discussion going on at the uh, scoring table. I'm not sure what is going on, but the officials are talking to both coaches. And... Uh, the third official is being brought into the discussion. Five fifty nine left in the first. Score is thirty to fourteen, Rehoboth leading Dothan. Okay, evidently there was a technical foul on the somewhere in there. I'm not sure where, where to how, but <laughs> Brian, the cameraman, says somebody threw a flag. Brian, uh, have you transitioned from football to basketball yet? <laughs> so there's still a lot of discussions going on uh, between the coaches and officials and I'm, I'm just not sure, and I'm not going to speculate on what's happening. But Thomas is at the line for the Dothan Tigers. He puts it up, and it's off the mark. So now I guess he was shooting the technical. Now he's going to shoot to from the foul. Not it. it rolls in. Thomas' second shot is off the mark. So he misses, and I think we may have had a lane violation. So the ball goes to Rehoboth. They're leading by 15. Five minutes, 58 seconds left in the period and it's stolen by Dothan and the shot missed and rebound goes to number 30 Demetrius Lewis and they were able to score and that's exactly what Dothan needed they needed to get something going that time they stole the ball and was able to get two points off the turnover Ferris comes right back and put up a two to nullify that basket And somehow, Thomas picks up the loose ball, and it's going to be a foul call on Ferris, his second. And
So at the line is Thomas, who hasn't done a very good job at the line tonight. He's only two of five. So he makes that one. Three of six, only shooting 50% from the line. He misses the second, and Cummins gets the rebound over to Ferris. McKinnon being played. A three-point attempt by Ferris is off the mark. Rebound goes to Lewis. Shot up, no good, and Terry Thomas puts it back up and scores, and I think they're going to. Kyrie Thomas with the slam back. So it's a 20 to 32 game. Rehoboth still in control. Goes to coming over to McKinnon. Off the mark, and it's going to be out of bounds off Rehoboth. So it's going to be Dothan's ball. They are trailing by a score of 20 to 32. Drive to the baseline, puts it up, and in. that's number 30, Demarius Lewis. So Dothan has cut a 15-point lead down to 10 with 418 left in the opening half. Nice layup that time by number 15, Dallas Snell, his first basket of the game. And knocked out of bounds by Dallas Snell. Into the game is number 35, Anthony McBride. And Snell goes out. Lewis gets the ball into Marsh. They try to get the ball into Thomas. He slaps it off the glass for two more. Kyrie Thomas. Dothan's going to that power game, trying to get the ball into Thomas. But Rehoboth has had an answer for everything Dothan's been able to do so far. And we're going to have a foul called on the play. Foul called on uh, McGee. That's his second personal foul. We're hoping still leading by 10. McKinnon from the corner. It rolls in and out. Pull up for a short jumper, no good, and up high for the rebound was Treywick. They get it to Treywick, he slides in, lays it up, misses, goes back up for two. Steven Treywick, and we're down to an eight point lead. 34 to 26 with 256 left in the first half. It missed, and the rebound And Rehoboth gets it, and that's coming wide open on the fast break. Lays it up and in for two. James Cummins with this third field goal of the game. Total of six points. Stop jumping. Shot up. Off the ball. Kyrie Thomas gets it up. Misses the dunk. And the rebound goes to number 43, Watford. Ferris goes for three. Count it. Tyler Ferris from downtown. It's a 39 to 26 lead. Dothan had cut the lead down to eight, but Rehoboth has come out and answered with a couple of big baskets.
Foul called on number 35. That's Schwerick. He's called for offensive foul. That's going to be his third. Cummins, 4-3, count it. So Rehoboth has gone ahead by 16. That biggest lead of the game. And it's blocked. But there to put it back in was number Kyrie Thomas, number 33. Back down to a 14-point lead. And it's blocked by Thomas. And a nice feed over to number 22, Greg Marshall. They call him for traveling. Nice drive down the baseline by number 35, McBride, for two. Seven points for McBride. Back up to a 16-point lead. Three-point attempt, short. McBride with the rebound. And Rehoboth wants a timeout with 44 seconds left in the First half to score is Rehoboth 44 to 28, leading Delta. Rehoboth takes the ball out. And then McKinnon goes in, lays it up and in for two. McKinnon has had an outstanding first half. Rehoboth up by 18 points, their biggest lead. They run off 10 points on Delta. Delta has Cut the lead down to eight, but Robert put it in another gear from that point, and we're going to have a foul called. Let's see who they call it on. Call on number 15, Dallas Snell. That's his third. Morris misses a free throw. Second one up. He misses both. Rehoboth running. 15 seconds left in the half. McKinnon back over to Ferris. Over to Cummins from way behind the three-point line. He misses. And it's going to be... Uh, the end of the half. So at the end, at halftime, the score is Rehoboth 46, Dothan 28. We'll be back with second half action after this timeout. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to the campus of Rehoboth High School. I'm Mitt Kirkland to bring you all the action between the Dothan Tigers and the Rehoboth Rebels. And talking about the first half, it was all Rehoboth. They led by 12 at the end of one by a score of 22 to 10. Halftime score 46 to 28. And leading score for Rehoboth is number 13, Ladarius McKinnon, who put up 18 points. And for Dothan, the big gun was Kyrie Thomas, who put up 17. Basket by Trawick. Rehoboth has led the... Uh, the entire game, Dothan was able to cut their lead down to eight points, but Rehoboth came right back and ran off a bunch of points and uh, took a big lead into halftime. Missed shot, and McKinnon gets the rebound, and he takes it down, fakes, puts it up and in. McKinnon, 20 points. In the game. Rehoboth up by 18. Three-point attempt short. Rebound goes to Lewis. Bank off the glass by number 40, Quentin Copeland, for his first 
basket of the game. Back down to a 16-point lead, 32 for Dotham, 48 for Rehoboth. Cummins stops, pulls up, misses, but there to put it back was number 13. He misses, but then number 35 goes up high and gets the rebound for Dothan. That's uh, Stephen Trawick. And so uh, Dothan wants a timeout with 6.21 left in the third to score 48 for Rehoboth, 32 for Dothan. Dothan takes the ball out, inbounds it. Peterman. Shot from the corner, 4-3, missed. Rebound goes to Cummings. He's on the fast break. He lays it up and misses. Rebound goes to Marsh. He kicks it over to Peterman. Back to Marsh, and number 35 steps right in front of it and takes it and puts it in. That was uh, McBride. Nine points for McBride. He had seven in the first half. The thing Dothan can't do is exchange baskets with Rehoboth. Nice move to the basket that time by Stephen Trawick. He's being a little more aggressive here in the second half. Foul called on number 35, Anthony McBride, his third personal. Free throws good for Trawick. Had six points in the game. Second's up and good. So it's a 16 point lead again, 50 to 34. Rehoboth leading the Tigers of Dothan. And that time it looked like uh, it was going to be a clear shot for Ferris. Nice move that time, using his body to, the, to get between the ball and the defender by Marsh, and it's good. Ferris gets it, and it's knocked away by Dothan. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Dothan. That time, Cummins did the smart thing. He let Peterman go for it and knock it out of bounds. Inbound the balls to McKinnon. He's being defended by Lewis. He gets across the midcourt line. McKinnon goes toward the basket. Foul call on number 35, Stephen Trawick, and that's going to be his fourth personal. So that, that could mean trouble for the Tigers. They're already in trouble can mean even more trouble. McKinnon, 21 points. He has been on fire tonight. He misses his second. Dolphin gets the rebound. They're trailing by 15 points. Shot 4-3, and it's good by Peterman. His first points of the game. So it's down to a 12-point game. And uh, Coach Easterwood wants a timeout. So with 4.06 left in the third, the score is we're home with 51, Dothan 39. All right, action resumes here. Four minutes, six seconds left in the third. And they get it to McKinnon. He goes up, misses, 
And the rebound goes to number 43, Kenny Hunter for Dothan. Dothan trying to scratch their way back into this game. It's been all Rehoboth. A steal by Ferris, and he picks it up, and they're going to call him for double dribbling. Taking it out for Dothan, number 21, Lorenzo Capehart. Inbounds it to Bobby Peterman, who had a three earlier. Miss coming, gets the rebound, and he takes off to the races. McKinnon. And somehow Ferris gets the rebound. But Thomas finally comes down with it for the Tigers. Off the mark, but Thomas gets the rebound, and it rolls in. Kyrie Thomas for two. His first basket of the second half, he had 17 in the first half, so that makes 19 for Thomas. Thomas puts it up. He makes a three-point play out of it. So Dothan has cut the lead down to nine points. Rehoboth was leading by as many as 18. Foul called on number 43, Hunter. For Dothan. I get the ball over to Cummins, who's just an outstanding athlete. To Farish. And he feeds it to Cummins on the move down the baseline, and he's fouled. Foul is on number 21, Lorenzo Capehart. Cummins at the line, shooting two. That's his first. This is Cummins' first time at the line tonight. He has nine points in the game. That one falls short. Second one up. It's off the mark. So Cummins missed both of, both of his free throws. Dothan's trying to cut the lead. They get it in to Kyrie Thomas, who lays it up and in for two more. 22 points for Kyrie Thomas. And we're down to a seven-point lead. K Park picks up his second. And Dolphin takes the ball away and loses it. And the shot is up, missed, and rebound goes to number 40, Copeland. That's on uh, Ferris. It's going to be his third at the line. Is number 21, Capehart, who is scoreless in the game. He makes his first point of the game. And we're down to a six-point game. And that one falls short. It's 51 to 45. Rehoboth has only put up uh, five points in the quarter. And they're going to call McKinnon for traveling, and that's the first mistake he's made all night. He's had an outstanding game. 
two minutes, 21 seconds left in the third. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by McKinnon. Good defensive play. Capehart takes it out for Dothan, inbounds it to Peterman. Capehart from the corner for three, short. Rebound goes to Watford. And the ball is taken away by Dothan. The crowd weren't very pleased with that call. And that time, number 21, Lorenzo Capehart takes it in. And it's a technical foul called on uh, Coach Easterwood. He didn't agree with that call. And, and the crowd didn't either. So Dothan will be shooting too. And a technical is called on Coach Easterwood. Okay, at the line shooting two will be Capehart. He's one of two from the line tonight. He makes that one, and we're down to a five-point game. Capehart makes both of them, so we're down to a four-point game. Uh, Rehoboth led by 18 points going into the period. And they have only scored five points here in the third, and there's a minute 46 seconds left. So Capehart misses the third, so he's, he's getting another one. And he makes that one. So we are down to a three-point game. That's a 15-point swing for Dothan. Dothan has put up 20 points in this period to Rehoboth five. And Dothan has the ball. And Cummins steals it, puts it up, and he's fouled. Great effort that time by James Cummings. Cummins is 0 for 2 from the line tonight. Minute 42 left in the third. Cummins puts it up and it's good. His first points of the second half. Second one's up and good. So we're holding the back on top by five. And Dothan turns it over. And McKinnon was able to control it. And we're going to have a foul called on number 43. Got him with the body. That's Kenny Hunter. Not in, so they are not in the penalty, so they'll take the ball out. Mike Reed with it. He gets it to Cummins. Cummins throws it right into the hands of Copeland, of Dothan. They get the ball in on a feed into Kyrie Thomas for two. We're down to a three-point game, 53 to 50. Foul is called on number 21, Lorenzo Capehart. It's going to be his third. And the line is uh, the Darius McKinnon. who has 21 points in the game. 
McKinnon misses, and somehow Thomas gets the rebound. Nothing gets it across half court. We're under a minute left in the third. And passing the ball around. It goes to Thomas. He powers his way up, but it rolls out, and it's out of bounds off of Cummings. Shot for a three from the corner. He's missed. And McKinnon on the fast break, and he's going to be fouled by number 40, Hunter Copeland. If you hadn't have fouled, you could have counted those two. At the line is McKinnon, who missed his last time at the line, and he's actually missed three in a row from the line. Second one up and missed. So McKinnon misses, and then Dothan turns it right back over to him. Capehart does. Well, Hoboth has led the entire game. And that's number 25. Mike Reed takes it in for two. And he was fouled. That foul was on uh, Peterman. I believe it was his first personal. So Reed makes a three-point play and puts his team up by six, 56 to 50. The shot off the mark, but he gets his own rebound. Gets it into Thomas, who slams it through for two at the buzzer. So it was a big period for Dothan. So at the end of three, the score is Verhoeven 56, Dothan 52. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter of action after this timeout. That we're back at the beginning of the fourth and final period of action. And that third period belonged to Dothan. They put up 24 points to Rehoboth, 10. And a time called on uh, Rehoboth. Rehoboth led by as many as 18 points. They led by 18 going into the second half. And it's taken away, and a great uh, hustle that time by number 21 for Dothan Capehart. James Cummins takes it out for Rehoboth. And we have a timeout with 7.36 left in the four, 56 to 52, Rehoboth leading. Rehoboth inbounds the ball, taken out is James Cummins. He gets it in to McKinnon. Cummins from behind the three-point line. It's off the mark, and Thomas goes up, and it's taken away by McBride. And somehow Dothan gets the rebound, gets the steal, and the points. That's number 21, Lorenzo Capehart, and we have a two-point game, 56 to 54. Cummins drives to the basket, and they call him for an offensive foul. That's Cummins' second foul. Dothan has trailed the entire game. You 
lead over. Hobeth had a big lead, and they kind of let up in the third period. And they have allowed Dothan to get back into this game. A foul called. Foul called on number 23, James Cummins, his third personal. At the line is number 43, Kenny Hunter, who is scoreless in the game. He puts it up, and it's in. So Hunter cuts the lead to one point. And a lot of time left in this game. Six minutes, 55 seconds. And it's a tie game. The, well, no, a lane violation. So the second one is no good. Ferris gets the ball. I get it across midcourt. McKinnon with it, who had an outstanding first half. 18 points. That was Lorenzo Capehart. Almost coming up with the steal. McBride shoots. Count it. It's a three. Big play for McBride. Rehoboth needed that one. Missed by Dothan. Gets the rebound. Goes into Thomas. He misses the slam. Taking it in is number 23. That was number 43. Watford. So Rehoboth goes back up by six after having a lead cut to one. Dothan inbounds the ball. Good ball movement into number 40 that time. Quinn Copeland for two. We're down to a four-point game, 61 to 57. Rehoboth leading. They've led the entire game. Have led by as many as 18 points. Cummins left wide open for a three. Misses, but Ferris there for the rebound. Puts it up. Misses, gets his own rebound. And they call it for traveling. So Dothan will take the ball out. Five minutes, 34 seconds left in the fourth. We're hoping the leading by four, 61 to 57. And the foul is going to be called on number 35, McBride. That will be his fourth. At the line shooting one and one is Quentin Copeland. His first time at the line tonight. And he makes his first. Copeland has a total of five points all coming in the second half. The second one's short. And Ferris gets the rebound. James Cummins. He gets it over to McKinnon, who had some threes in the first half. He goes for a three. And it's a three. So Rahul is back up by six. 
Kyrie Thomas there for the rebound to put it back for two. 64-60. Rehoboth holding on to a slim lead. Ferris goes for three. Count it. That's his second three-point of the game. Rehoboth up by seven. Ferris comes up with the steal. Cummins goes up, and he's fouled. Foul called on number 40, Quentin Copeland, his second. James Cummins at the line. He's two of four from the line in the second half. Has 11 points. Make it 12. We'll hold it back on top by eight, 68 to 60. Dothan was able to cut the lead down to one point at 56 to 55, but have not been able to take the lead. So Cummins puts up two. It's a nine point lead. Foul call on number 35, and that's going to be five for him. So Anthony McBride fouls out with four minutes, 19 seconds left in the game. In to replace McBride is number 25, Mike Reed, who had three points all coming up, uh, coming in the second half. First free throw is good by Copeland. He's two of, th two of three from the line. He misses, but Dothan gets the rebound. And a good block that time by Rehoboth. I didn't get the number of that driver, but he was in the right place at the right time, did a good job of denying them the basket. Four minutes, five seconds. Cummins gets the block somehow, but there to put it back was number 35, Trawick. Six-point Rehoboth lead, 69 to 63. Three minutes, 48 seconds left in the fourth. Come and goes, he shoots, misses, and uh, Copeland gets the rebound. And somehow, Cummins comes down with it. Whoa. <laughs> and boy, that was a collision there about midcourt between Cummins and Capehart, and I think Cummins won that battle. That's his fourth foul. At the line is uh, James Cummins, who's hit his last four free throws after missing his first two. So that's coming with five in a row. 14 points in the game. Cummins makes both of them. 15 points for Cummins. Three minutes, 18 seconds left. Rehoboth up by eight. Three point attempt. Count it, coming from number 15. Bernard McGee, his first basket of the game, and it comes from downtown. McKinnon with the ball.
They get it in the comments. He lays it up. He was a little too far into the basket and missed it. And they threw it right into the hands of Reed. And he gets it to McKinnon, who puts it up, misses, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Ball goes into number 35. He misses, and he's going to be fouled by Cummins. Seven-point lead for Rehoboth, 73 to 66. Two minutes, 15 seconds left in the fourth. Kyrie Thomas on the sideline waiting to come in at the scorer's table. Trawitt misses his free throw. Copeland goes out and back in is Kyrie Thomas, number 33. He makes his second. So it's a six-point game. Coming, showing his athleticism. Over to Reed. They're going to try to run some time off the clock. Coming, takes it in, puts it up and in. Big basket for James Cummins, who's kind of taking control of this game here late in the fourth. Go for a three. It's off the mark, but they get the rebound. In the Kyrie Thomas, puts it up and in for two. Six-point Rehoboth lead. Under the minute and a half left. They're going to try to take as much time off the clock as they can. Minute 10 left. Foul called on number 15, McGee. His third personal at the line is number 11, Tyler Ferris. And there's a timeout on the court with 107 left in the fourth. The score is Rehoboth 75, Dothan 69. Ferris at the line for Rehoboth. Puts up his first free throw. It's good. His first time at the line tonight. That's his ninth point of the game. He misses his second. Rehoboth up by seven. Dothan's got to do whatever they're going to do and do it quick. Get it into Thomas, and he puts it up for two. It's a five-point game. Under a minute left. Thirty-nine seconds. They're going to call an intention to foul on that one. Foul call on Kyrie Thomas. So at the line is number forty-three. Zacharias Watford. He misses his first. He makes the second. Watford has eight points in the game, and it's a six-point lead. For Rehoboth, 36 seconds left. Foul called on number 43, Kenny Hunter. 
It's third, and he fouled uh, Tyler Far Forrest Ferris. I get it out. Ferris is uh, 0 for 1 from the line. Let's see. No, he's a uh, one of two from the line. He makes his second one. He misses it, and Dothan gets the rebound. They've got to move and move fast. Go for a three. Shot up, missed, but there to put it back was Kyrie Thomas for two more. So it's a five-point game. 16 seconds left. And they knock it out of bounds with 10.9 seconds left. 78 to 73, Rehoboth leading Dothan. And they're going to try to run the time out, run the clock out. 7.2 seconds and five points behind. And it comes up short. Second shot is short. He goes for a three. And it's all over. 78 to 73. The Rehoboth Rebels beat the Dothan Tigers. Okay, tallying up the scores by quarters. At the end of one, uh, Rehoboth led 22 to 10, and they took a 46 to 18 lead into halftime. But Dothan came back strong in the third period and uh, was able to pull within one point, 56 to 55, and Rehoboth took a 56 to 52 lead into the fourth. And they go on to win 78 to 73. Now, for the losing Dothan Tigers, the big night tonight, number 33, Kyrie Thomas, had 32 points, followed by Stephen Trerick's 11. Uh, Lewis had eight, and uh, Capehart had eight. On the other side, big night tonight for number 13, Ladarius McKinnon, who put up 25 points. And uh, 16 for Cummins, 12 for McBride, 8 for Watford, and 8 for Tyler Ferris. So that's going to about wrap it up from the campus of Rehoboth High School where they beat the Dothan Tigers by a score of 78 to 73. I'm Mick Kirkland along with my cameraman Brian Nyman saying good night from Rehoboth High School.